Hey guys, what's up? Anyway, this is the end result of this video. It's basically porting this map from uh, from Draenor to Wrath of the Lich King. Only thing is, my scripts are still incomplete. Um, but I wanted to basically put out this tool so people could start using it and uh, such while I update it when I get more time to do it and such. So the, the, the main thing that's missing right now is basically just that the the uh the, the script that pulls the blp data off the m2 files is incomplete still so i still have to finish rewriting that um but uh yeah anyway um i at the very end of the video i show my older script the one that i'm, I'm basically re, uh, rewriting um i show that in 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 uh in action and basically it will go through and grab everything else but uh, the general tutorial for whatever tools that are available, um, it, 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 uh, this map is done by that. And as you can see, there's no crash. All the WMOs are, are ported uh, properly there and, and such, and the M2s and all that. The only issue is that not, not all the texture files have been pulled. And again, it's because I, of, of my rewrite, it's not complete. It works for the two maps that, that I had released but it doesn't work for all of them all right and it works for some other ones that i tested some uh, uh cataclysm maps but uh for these it's got some other uh some other some other uh conditions that uh, i had to figure out why my script is failing on and such but uh yeah so like a, a more complete look is uh, if i were to actually um, put these files back in, which is which was pulled using my oh, my original script that I'm rewriting. As you can see, everything's all back to uh, all all uh, textured out and such, and not bright green anymore. And um, yeah, so if if the old one and the it and the rewrite is used in in tandem to uh, together, it should be able to grab all the textures and uh such but uh yeah it's just um it's a clunky it's 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 a clunky script and i explain why and i show exactly why it's a clunky script um yeah so yeah if if you guys check it out all the way to the very end and uh want the old clunky scripts and such let me know and i'll probably detail on how to use it i mean it's not really difficult it's just clunky it's it's just very very volatile so yeah all right bye bye thanks later hey guys what's up anyway i'm gonna try to make this not necessarily as fast as i can but as straightforward as i can all right this is my method these are my tools so yeah all right so that said my particular method and just my tool set in general may not actually conform to your own mental thoughts and patterns. So you may not be able to comprehend or get my particular method, but maybe, just maybe, you might be able to reuse either some of my tools or some, or some of my, my methods and uh, create your own type of uh, uh, style and uh, and reteach that if you want. And uh, yeah. All right, so first things first, you need a couple pieces of software installed to, to do my particular process, my particular met, uh, met, uh, method, all right? Uh, first you need is a working copy of O&O, &O, uh, uh, naturally. And then the second thing is you're going to need a working copy of Excel, at least Excel 2007, all right? Um, yeah. The reason for that is because uh, of various things that I've, I've, I've made. Uh, basically, a tool is, um, is anything that, that, that helps, makes your life easier in one way or another. Just because I might be using Excel worksheets, it makes my life a lot easier. It will make your life easier in doing this stuff instead of doing it all by hand. At one point in time, over a year ago, when I first started using Wills ADT Converter before I made my own, I was doing all this by hand, except for the ADT conversion part. Everything else, trying to get just the right amount of WMOs, trying to get all the BLPs, only the, the BLPs that, 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 that the 
ADTs used, the WMOs used, the M2 used, G uh, uh, getting just those M2 files that the WMO and, and ADT used. All, I, I, I did all that by hand at one point, all right? And then uh, as time went on, I got a little better at scripting. I got better at at, at making uh, little worksheets here and there to help me uh, progress faster. And yeah, it's it's all like a culmination of just taking time and uh, bettering your, uh, my, uh, myself and you guys as well. Taking some time out, better yourself. Don't be in a rush. You're not going to be able to do it like all in one go. All right. Like I said, this I've been. I've been playing around with this hobby for, I don't know, over the past, what, year and a half? And uh, yeah, so before I even get going on this, I wanna give a shout out and a big thank you to Will uh, for 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 basically his efforts and, and uh, giving out his ADT converter, even though he kind of trolled the community when he first put it out, he gave out false information that if you followed, his converter would break. So if you ignored it, his converter works fine. And uh, so aside from that little thing, but eh, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, so basically because of him and the fact that I managed to get his tool working and a whole bunch of, of other trolls that were friends of his that said they had working copies, but really they didn't. They just had a copy from Will and so on and so forth. I got two guys to admit that that they had a that their quote unquote working compiled copy that they claimed was actually just uh, just um, uh, it, uh, Will's version. Will had compiled a working version and gave it to them and such. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, so without further ado, let's uh, let's do this. All right. So first thing you want to do is um, basically go into a drive somewhere and uh, just right click and then uh, hold shift and right click and check if you can open up o uh, ONL through uh, the uh, command prompt all right so you should be able to turn it to open it by typing in just o ONL editor all right like how I have it there all right if it doesn't do that and you get something that says like blah is not recognized whatever all right uh, what you got to do is go to your computer your main your basically the window that has all your drives. All right, right click this and go to properties. Go to advanced system settings. All right, and then uh, go to environment variables. Down here somewhere we'll say uh, path. Uh, click this one and click edit. All right, and then, um, and then uh, find your O1O editor installation directory. So mine's would be here. Like just basically just go to where that's 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 at. Click in the address bar to select the whole damn thing. Click copy. All right. And then at the very end, go to the very end because this thing can be very long. Make sure you're at the very far right end. All right. And then put a semicolon to end whatever is there in case there isn't one already. All right. And then paste yours in. And then end it with the backslash. All right. And then put a semicolon to end yours as well. And then just hit OK. All right, and then just hit OK here, and it'll save. But I already have that in there, and I don't know what would happen if I have two entries. So I'm not gonna go that route and screw shit up. Okay, so yeah, so just uh, I'm just gonna hit OK on this, and then basically after you do that, just hit OK, and so on and so forth. All right, and then after that, you'll you may have to restart your computer for that to go in effect. But before you do that. There's one thing, one other thing that you you have to do first, and I have to do as well because I'm gonna do this so that I can follow along with uh, with you guys. All right. So um, I'm gonna leave this open because I have to do another thing. But close this out. Go back to C drive. All right. Like all of my previous releases, everything has to go into your drive C. This is the same case. All right. The reason for that is because I'm too lazy to make. Uh, a file generator to generate depending on where you may put the crap all right so i'm taking the easy the lazy easy way out if you want to you can go and edit the things if you want to bitch at me about not making a personal or or, or a custom uh, lo lo location installer type of thing fuck you because 
You guys are using, you guys are downloading my shit. You, you don't have to use my shit, all right? I, you, you guys can, can go off and you take your bitchy ass and go make your own shit, all right? You can spend however long, a couple months, whatever, or a day, or if you have no life, no job, and you don't go and, 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 and you don't know, and like you don't have any life, uh, you could probably spend maybe a month and figure out all the shit I did in like a month. But if you don't, well, then, you know, over a year, whatever. But you can take your bitchy ass and go make your own shit. All right. Uh, you, you ain't got to use my shit. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, sorry. Kind, kind of just all over the place. But, hey, it is what it is. If you guys see my videos before, you guys know how I am. So, uh, yeah, what you want to do is uh, down, download this crap somewhere and, and, and extract it. So, the things you want to extract is... Uh, this one, this one, uh, blank file, this batch file, and that's it. Everything else you can put somewhere else for the most part. All right, so drag and drop these and put them into your drive C. All right, go into the scripts folder and uh, basically select this. All right, so select the address and go back into the environment variables. Go back down to path. All right, click on edit at the very end of this, paste that in, put a, end it with the backslash, and then put a semicolon to end it off, hit OK, and OK, and OK. All right, and then you'll probably have to restart, restart your, your computer. And to check, after you restart, to check if it works right, you should be able to launch this from anywhere. All right, so when you open it, it should just say, hello, it works, whatever, all right? Um, yeah, I'll probably just edit mine a bit. So uh, I'll put a echo off. Uh, oops, echo off. All right, so like that, and then so mine's will pop up like this. I'm I I'm pretty sure I have to restart to check. You should be able to go into a, another drive, and uh, you should be able to launch that from and from the address bar of another drive. So I go ZX and it opened my browser. So that means that I do have to restart my computer for that to actually re uh, to actually uh, be, be set up completely. All right, like right now, I believe I can put ZX anywhere and it'll pop up uh, or not. So I do have to actually do that. All right, so, uh, so that's in the environment now. But before we get to that, to actually restarting, there are some other things you need to set up first, uh, which would make it easier to do it now then well you can do it later you can you, you can restart and resume up, up up to you whichever way you uh, you want to do it but um download wild parser and put it somewhere all right so open this up minimize this minimize this put this on my desktop i already have one here okay fine i'll just make a new folder uh tutorial oh shit Ooh, yeah fuck it Ooh, tutorial uh parse all right, and I don't know why I went over there. Drag and drop the contents from inside of here, just mainly the program and the config file. And that's good. Okay, and then you want to also, oh yeah, and the, the other thing I forgot to mention that you need installed, because this is, this this video thing is for the Drenor installation, all right? So that's what I'm, I'm gonna be, be, uh, be focusing on, is basically, basically Drenner. So um, make sure you have that installed, either the PTR or the live version, make sure it's a complete install. All right, if it's a partial install and you run into errors, you I warned you. <laughs> so I can't really help you if you got, if you got errors because, because of a partial install. You need a full install to really follow along, all right? So, so if it's not a full install, click that launcher and let it fully install and yeah, all right? So get that done. Um, the other thing is get Tom Russ's tool, the Cast Explorer. Uh, I'll link it somewhere. Um, blah. So he has a list file for six point two. That's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna delete mine, so I, or I'm gonna clear it out because I don't use it because I need people that have a have a list file get spoiled and then and then they don't know how to make their own and then they bitch about like when they do maps whatever they'll bitch about some other person except for themselves because they're too fucking 
prideful to blame blame uh, blame themselves even though they're the fucking idiot that's doing it uh is that um like they'll have too much data because it's not uh explicit it's 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 not separated out uh, like you know for what it needs and shit so they have too much data and the fossil sizes will be too large and they'll be bitching about that but it's because they don't want to fucking you know separate it and and i see this a lot and i i'm yeah, no, I'm kind of just ranting and bitching, but yeah, it's what I do. And uh, you guys are watching this, so like I said, y'all y'all should know my 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 style, blog, and all that. So uh, yeah, so open this up, and uh, let's see, drag and drop this and put it somewhere. Uh, I'll make a new close you now. Make a new folder. I'll call it. Uh, Tutorial <laughs> cask. All right, I'm gonna drop all this crap into here. All right, go to your general installation folder. I'm gonna go to my PTR, which is in my F drive, and then world of work, world of Drenor, uh, world of Drenor. Go into here, and then basically wherever your WoW exe is out of your data folder, whatever. So this folder here, just uh, copy this, uh, open up Notepad plus plus or something. All right. And then uh, drag and drop the cast explorer.exe config file into here. Set this thing up as an online mode to false. Leave that as false. That's good. And then um, let's see. Where did you put your installation? Right here. Storage path. Put your full path in it with a backslash. So, like, I copied mine and put it there. All right, so that should be good. I, sh I just save that, close this out, close this out, and if I run Cas Explorer with the list file that he has, it should find my installation, run the list file, all that good stuff, and then it, and it'll populate stuff, all right? So, yeah. Do, 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 let that go through. Oh, he's got a little thing on there now. That's cool, That that's new, all right, but, so yeah, there's that and stuff. So that's cool. So um, so yeah, that's basically how you would use his tool. Me, I take out the whole fucking list file because I don't use any of it. So that's that's just my preference. You you can use it, whatever you want to do. Me personally, I don't use it because it'll spoil you. No, because uh, when I do the whole map thing, I have to grab it specific amounts of data so that's why and and i constantly have to clear it so there's there's no point in having it like uh, full and shit because i'm just going to delete it later so yeah okay so um okay that's done that's set up and then so let me see one not one some more things you got to do uh something i have to do so i can follow along with you guys is i have to rename these batch files so i can actually because i already have these located somewhere else so i need to um just add a letter to mine so i'll put an x on it whatever so x w will convert x data dumper uh so i'll put a i'll put an x del 335 that's basically for like since this is a video to downport to 335 right um when you get all your shit then naturally you want to save as much data as much space as you can so you want to try to delete whatever is in your archive of files delete whatever may have existed in in, in uh, uh 335 and uh and, and lower and such so so basically i just got all the 335's list files from all the different mpqs which is like what like I don't know, 10 MPQs or some shit. And then um, merge them all, take out all the duplicates and shit, and then take out the DBC, the DB files client folders, uh, uh, entries, and then take out the sound ones because there's a bunch of sound. And who extracts sound? I, I don't. So uh, yeah, I took those out and then I saved it as a big old delete file, which I'll show you as soon as I could find my, okay, right there. So it's just got a bunch of delete and then stuff right and uh yeah so it's that's that's pretty much it so um 
close that out. So that's all renamed. So X, X, and X. All right. And then ZX. I, I, I just have this in this particular uh, distribution. All right. Uh, so when I restart my, my computer, I should be able to launch ZX from anywhere and it'll pop up with that uh, hello, it works, blah. And if you don't remember, I edited it. I added a uh, at. Uh, echo off to basically turn off the other uh, uh, screen screen uh, echoes. All right. Um, let's see what else is in here. This Z, this uh, this Notepad plus plus uh, macro. Um, you're going to need to use regular Notepad to edit it because uh, naturally you can't edit something in Notepad if Notepad is opened. So yeah. All right. So what you want to do is. Uh, if I can remember what the hell the data was at. Um, let's see. Notepad plus plus. Notepad. Then right click. Can I just go to like this? Nope, doesn't go there. Okay, so I have to go to. Um, I have to go to my user folder. All right. Go to the app data folder again. If you guys don't have the app data folder because it's hidden. Uh, push alt in, uh, in the window go to tools go to folder options go to views and hit the show hidden files and folders and while you're there uncheck the hide extensions for known file types and hit ok all right this will pop up okay and then uh, go to uh, I think it's local low right nope 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 how about roaming 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 I don't know notepad notepad, notepad, notepad. Okay, plus plus all right, cool. So go to your user folder, app data, roaming, notepad plus plus, and then find this file that's called shortcut.xml. Uh, right click and just click on edit, and it should open up a normal notepad. All right, if it does not, you'll have to open up normal notepad and then drag and drop this file in. If for some reason you guys don't know how to do that, just open this up, click a notepad, make sure you select the normal one, drag and drop this into here, and you're good. So. What you want to do is uh, let me just view this file from here. Yeah, go away. So um, this is basically the macro that you would put into here. So by default, if you don't edit yours, yours may look something like like uh, let me delete this shit so I could like match up to a normal uh, looking uh, uh, XML file. All right, so if you don't have any type of edits, whatever, yours may look something like this, just something simple like this, all right? So basically what you wanna do is uh, select everything that I have inside of this folder, not folder, but this file, all right? Click copy, all right? And then uh, just go to where the trim and trailing macro ends, uh, which is this thing here, because you, you can tell by the block settings, all right? So right, like right there, and just push enter, all right? And then just uh, control V to paste and you'll paste mine's in. All right. And then just just save it. Just go to file, save, and then you're good. All right. But since I am not wanting to delete my shit, all right, so I'm not going to do that. But for you guys, that's basically what you would do. Just if you don't have this, basically just add my stuff to your stuff. So if you already have stuff there, just add my stuff to your stuff. All right, that's that's all. That's basically all there is to it. All right, the reason why you need to do, do this is because, well, naturally, there's things you're going to have to do. You can either do it by hand, or you can do it this way. So up to you, whatever way you want to do it. You want to do it by hand, go for it. All right, so just save that, close it out, and whatever. All right, um, and then and after you do that, you should be able to go into Notepad plus plus, and 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 you hit the macro button up here. You should have I think it's just append while into skin, uh, append while BLP, and append while map. All right, Th those sh it should just be those three. I'm pretty sure that was it. All right, and uh, yeah. So actually, since I'm here, I, I, I could look. So it's just yeah, uh, append into skin, BLP, and map endings. All right. So yeah, just it should just add those three, and then you're good. And then we'll use that later when we come across and have to use that all right so that's good and then let's see let's see what else what else what else, what else? that should be it that should be it did i close the raw i closed the raw anything else uh extract extract this this is the m2 converter we'll use that later that's not needed right now you can extract the stuff from within here when you need it don't need it now 
Okay. So yeah. All right. So um, before you restart, uh, there should be like before we put the blank file and this batch file, the Z clear dump whatever uh, on the drive C. All right. So run that. All right. So it'll make a bunch of files. All right. Make basically stuff. So basically, when when we start extracting stuff and dumping strings, it's gonna dump into these files. All right. And that's basically how that works. And yeah, so <coughs> so make sure you set up your environment uh, uh, variables, the other things that I just walked through, and uh, yeah. So once you have that, then just restart your computer. All right. So I gotta close all these junk outs. Close this. Close this. Close that. And close this. And stop recording. And yeah. All right, so see you after that. All right, so it's back. Let's do this. Let me try to remember what I was doing. All right, so uh, go to where you may have put the Cast Explorer and open that folder and then check if that ZX would pop up. All right, as you can see, type CZX here and it showed up and said, hello, it works. Right, but a better test is to go to a different drive in general than wherever the, the hell it's at. So if you have a second drive somewhere, it's somewhere else, all right? Like, uh, like I'll go to my F, to F drive, all right? I'll put, uh, I'll do that ZX again and it'll pop up, all right? So yeah, if it doesn't, I don't know how to help you, <laughs> but it should, but I don't know. Some people's computers, uh, especially if they're using like, say like their parents' computers, or 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 uh, or siblings' computers, and and their account isn't like full privileges. Uh, they may not be able to to uh, to have full access to setting up the variables and shit. So even if they may set it, they don't. It, it's not set everywhere. So yeah, if, if you fall into that category, uh, fix that on your on on your thing, or try to log into the main account of the computer and do it there. Uh, yeah because yeah all right um if you can't alternatively you can sort of uh drag and drop all the batch files everywhere <laughs> and uh and put them into wherever you may need to use them uh th that'll work too but uh by having it in one spot and being able to launch it from your address bar makes it a lot easier to do stuff all right so I'm going to be needing my the the map DBC so DB oops, DB files client backslash map dot dot DBC enter the uh, control D <laughs> I'll be lazy to do that uh, what's the other one I need um what's the loading screen one. What's that one called? I forget. I'm gonna look at 335. I'm gonna take, take that route. Let's see, it's gotta be one of these. Oh no, it's not in these. One. It's in the other files, isn't it? It's in the locale. It's in this one, I believe. Okay, and then DB files clients, and then loading, loading screens. All right, so uh, loading. Screens. My eyes hurt. I've been sitting at my computer for too long because I've been trying to update. I've been rewriting macros and stuff for this particular process to make it easier for you guys to do stuff. And yeah, so yeah. All right, so I've been thinking about y'all. All right, it's not like I haven't been doing that, you know. I've, I've, I've been thinking about y'all, you know. So yeah, so I've been doing that. So uh, yeah, map DVC, loading screen, that should be it for now, right? That's all I really need. So, go back into here, and launch uh, this, so we can get the DBC file, and such. All right, and, ah, so that's the Swiss normal now, huh? 
<laughs> all right cool so I'll make sure there are three dbc files in there all right cool I'm gonna take this right click this extract it I'm gonna put it to this folder here that I set up a while ago I just you know here with nothing in there so that's gonna go in there in here new folder I'm gonna call this uh, I'm just gonna call it 62 uh, dbc dbz <laughs> dbc all right then uh, hit OK, and then um, the reason I did that is because trying to trying to go extract and browse, and then scrolling down to find this file, this tutorial blah takes time. So I just go if I just make a fucking folder with a zero zero name, so I can just click it real quick and just do the stuff real fast, and then it doesn't take me very long to go in here, you know, and then and then go in here and go in here and drag and drop this shit into here. And that uh, that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is trying to find my fucking folder through, through that, All right? And then close this out, close this, and then go into here, run this to turn those into text files. All right, I can delete the DBC files now. All right, and then uh, let's see, I have to make another folder because I totally forgot about this earlier. There's uh, yeah, another parse. Open this one up. Put the parser into here as well and get my 335 files. So, uh, let's see. close this, open this to my patch in US3. I believe that's the one you use to get the latest DBC files, or you could just go to your uh, server core DBC folder, I think. Um, should be able to do it that way as well. But for me, I want to get this thing and that loading screen from here as well. So uh, paste those in, extract plain name. All right, and then turn those into whatever's so that I can make my DDC files because I want to get the loading screen for, actually, I think the thing I'm gonna do has no loading screen. So no point in actually getting that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and now that I just thought about it because the one I want because I want to just basically reshow or retell how how I did that uh the uh that tenon uh jungle or tenon or tenon or however you say it a couple of different blokes that I know say it differently so yeah anyway and yeah so let's just get to it uh so open up the map dbc file blah from uh from 6x actually i want to rename these so i can like uh actually know what i'm looking at so six here and six here so i'll open that up open this up and i should start live streaming really but because then i could just get user input on what i should look i should try to attempt but i don't have enough i guess subscribers or fan base yet so Right, so I did. So it'd be like what two people watching. So I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother with that yet. But uh, if you guys think it's an it's an interesting idea and I should follow through with it, let me know. But uh, yeah. So um, where the hell was that that jungle? Uh, and, um, look, look right there. All right, so 1464 is the ID for that. All right, so in my 3x map D, uh, DBC file, I usually just uh, take the Azeroth one and I just clone it. I just copy it, paste it at the very bottom. Then whatever this ID is, I like to just copy it. So this one is uh, 1464, put it into here, 1464. Then um, let me see, tenon jungle. To, 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 that's the folder name or the file name of basically all the, of the ADTs, WDT, WDL, etc., etc., etc. All right. So uh, that, and then get the name. And then change the change this name. Not really needed, but why not? Uh, and then just skip the rest there's no reason to fill out the rest because this thing doesn't have a loading screen i don't think because usually the loading screen is right here where this negative one is at i think 
and this thing has a negative one while all these other ones up here has stuff that like this one has a 21 <laughs> and uh this thing has a uh a 360 whatever so yeah like these all have things on their troll raid originally i was gonna do high mall uh whatever the hell that was at um high mall high mall ogre raid this is the one i was gonna do originally but yeah things happened um i i can still do it you know just just to show you guys, I could still do it. It's just gonna take a lot of extra time, and I don't want to spend extra time. Also, because I, I I don't know the size of this map, and I haven't done it yet, so I don't know. But you know what? Let's do that. Let's let's just do this one instead, then, right? So let's just do, do this. So it'd be something I haven't done yet, and we'll see if I hit errors. If I hit errors, I'm gonna remake this whole fucking video. <laughs> so yeah, so. Let's uh, let me just uh, I'll do this one, put it there, get this folder name, put it here, get this uh, the, oops, the uh, the name of the thing. I don't know what this is, what instance name or some shit. I don't know. Was that the thing that goes on? No, it's not that. No, I don't know what that is uh let's see and then um and then so the the loading screen id for this one is 362 let's look at what 362 is right there so i need to add this to my um my <laughs> list file <laughs> brain fart <laughs> list file and then um and then I want to add this entry into the uh, the rats one, right? So down to the very bottom, paste this whole thing in, and that should be good. That should be good, like that. All right, and then we go back into the map DBC file, and I have to find where the hell the fucking uh, the loading screen goes on this map. But this one says 254, but where's that at? Is that is that this negative one? That's my guess. So uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me push this over. We can make this a 254. Does it sort of match up? Sort of, kind of. No, that's not it. No? All right. Uh, is it that four? I don't know. Yeah, probably that four. There's a big number right there. So what did I just undo? Let's redo that name change. So it could be this four, right? So what's 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 loading screen four? Azeroth. Alright, so yeah, so it's that four. Alright, cool. So there's that. <laughs> so I need 362, 362 save. Um while I'm talking to myself, I will go and get that that freaking uh loading screen thing. Just for the hell of it. Why not do it now? Uh, interface it goes just make sure it's there cool all right so right click this extract go back into that folder i will call this a uh, 62 load screen and whatever okay okay i like to do everything all separately but uh yeah so there's that and uh we're good so that's all we need for that so um take the map id name Right, so in so all so the stuff that I had uh, the thing for uh, uh, download, right? Um, open up the Excel sheets in it. So inside of here will be the Excel worksheets. All right, uh, open up the WoW map name maker. All right, this there there's another way of doing this, but this I think I feel this way is easier because I already typed it all out, but. You can also just grab the the, the, uh, the the WDT file and generate the list file, like a more exact list uh, list file from the WDT file. But um, since, since I already typed this all out, and yeah, whatever. But uh, yeah, so whatever way you want to do. So um, just basically scroll up, right? So copy the name, scroll up to the top, and then where this is yellow, where it says na uh, name of map, to, uh, to the right box, or whatever. Just uh, just click that, and then uh, Control V, and it should paste in. 
sorry, don't double click it, just just click it, control V, it'll paste in. And then all these will change and follow suit. Right, so copy this, right, copy this whole damn thing. So just select it, control A, copy the whole damn thing. Go into Notepad plus plus. I'm gonna go into the list file, uh file, right? And then I just uh, just paste this in, so control A and paste that in. Go to the very top, I'm gonna uh, either scroll up manually or just hold control and push the home key on your keyboard. You push the end key to go to the end if you want. And then just go to the end of where this one is at, where this uh, zero zero is at. Right, uh, click on this uh, run macro multiple times. Select the one that said uh, append while map endings. Right, if you run it once, you'll see what it does. So basically it duplicates the lines four, four extra times and then adds stuff to it. Right, so basically run into in the file and then it's gonna take a little while because it's got a lot to do. But after it's done, then uh, self-explanatory. Save it, open up cast, and then extract this shit somewhere. And that's basically it. All right, this has a lot more files than I thought it was gonna have, but it's not too bad. So uh, let's see. <laughs> usually I'm not recording when I'm running this, so it usually finishes a lot sooner. But yeah, so this this is an experience because again, usually I'm not recording. Usually things go by pretty fast. So yeah, so that's that's saved. Right? Yeah, okay, that's saved. Close this out. All right, and then run cast explorer, and then I can minimize this for now. And minimize you. So it should be this world folder. I, I don't like the current cast explorer how it has all that shit showing. Uh, but anyway, so world folder. Um, but I'm gonna basically use this because. You guys are probably going to end up using it, so to avoid confusion, I'll be using it. So I uh, go back to my one folder, go to, to a new folder, go 6-2, ooh crap, not 9-5, 6 <laughs> uh, what I call this? Uh, H-high-maps. Alright, then hit OK, then hit OK. Alright, so that's good. So um, let's see. Do do do. That should be good. That should be good. That should be good. All right. So before you even start converting or anything like like that, extract everything first. Do get the extraction process done. All right. That that has to go through a certain process. Get that done, and then once you're done with that, then think about converting. All right. So do it in that order. Otherwise, if you Extract, convert, extract, convert, extract, convert. You're gonna fuck shit up eventually, and it's gonna be all bad. All right, and then you're gonna start all over again. So, so get the whole extracting thing all done first. All right, um, it's someone singing. Sounds like someone's singing. I don't know. Anyway, so and then you go into this folder, and then you go to my high maps, and then from here, run the data dumper batch file. Make sure O and O editor is not opened at all when you run this. And while this is running, do not do anything on your computer. Walk away, go find something to do, all right? Because this uses your Windows clipboard to copy and paste data, all right? If you go and you go on like YouTube or some shit and you start copying stuff, it's the script is going to paste what you copied and you're going to have like a YouTube link in your ADT file going to fuck shit up, all right? So, so when this is running, don't do anything, all right? Just, yeah, all right? You can watch stuff, but like when I say watch I mean watch the data accumulate not watch things on YouTube right so and um, yeah this is this is a high process process <laughs> this is a high processor process basically um, try not to use, you use your computer because if you do it might hiccup and then you'll get wrong data and shit all right so uh, so I'm gonna go to the script folder just for the just because I, I don't remember what I called it. So X data dumper. I'm just gonna copy this, but uh, you can type it out it and whatnot if 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 you want. So just X data dumper, right? So these are the files here, and um, basically when I run it, it's going to scan the ADT files, all right? And then it's going to um, 
to pull the BLP strings that's in the ADT files, the M2 strings that's in the, AD, the ADT files, and also uh, 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 WMO strings, all right? So if I do that, if I type in that X data dumper into here, right? This is my, my, my map extraction, all right? I, I'm talking to myself too because I need to verify with myself, right? If I push enter, it's gonna do stuff and it's going to take a while all right so let that go through but as you can see down here the m2 file and the blp file and the wmo are starting to accumulate data all right so things are being so it's basically dumping the data from those files into these text files and such all right so let that go through and wait for it to finish once it's done like that then uh close it out all right and uh how many files does this thing have? 153? Oh, this is gonna be a fast, a fast conversion. <laughs> but get to that later. So, um, <clears throat> so after you do that, what you want to do is go into this uh, this poll uh, dash wmo.txt. You want to right, to right click and open this up in 010 editor. All right, and then uh, do a control R. All right, make sure it's in hex mode. All right, if it's in text mode, switch it to hex mode, All right? From here, do a control R. It's basically just doing search and, and uh, replace, all right? So that control R. All right, change these both to hex bytes, all right? The find and the replace. And your find is going to be zero, zero. Your replace is gonna be zero A, all right? Zero A in hex is basically the uh, uh, the text command to uh, when you push enter at the end of your sentence and it makes them a, a new line. It's basically that. Right, because right now, if I open this up in Notepad Plus Plus, it looks like that. We don't want that. All right. So what you want to do is take out all the zeros and make them zero A, which is basically a new line and such. So if I hit replace, it's gonna do that. But then we're gonna, but then click again somewhere else to clear out that selection that was right there. Right. Control R again, and then do a zero A zero A. All right, and then replace with a single zero A. All right. Then replace all you're gonna have some matches all right right click not right click but left click again somewhere to clear that selection you have to do that all right if you don't clear the selection and you hit control r it's going to replace this with whatever you have selected all right and then hit replace all again and sometimes you may have to uh, do that multiple times and such as you'll see when i have to do it for the m2 file and such but for this you don't for the wmo usually don't because usually there's not that much stuff there and uh yeah so once you're done there and and you get down to basically the double zero a's and replace with a single uh zero a and you can't replace anymore um just save it all right you can close out o and o all together all right and then uh just open this up in um in uh in notepad plus plus copy the whole thing so control a control c copy it just uh, in Excel, open, go to a new sheet somewhere. Just open, just make a new sheet, uh, new sheet, all right? And then paste this in, all right? And then go to data and go to remove duplicates, all right? This thing does not have any uh, any headers, so if this is checked, uncheck it, all right? And then hit OK, and it's gonna say 309 for me for this particular thing. It says 319 duplicates were found and removed, so I have 74 left. So there's 74. Uh, unique dub, uh, unique WMOs within this particular map, all right, and uh, such. All right, so there's that. Copy this, and then go back to the list file, okay, and paste this in. Save that, all right, and then open up the uh, Cast Explorer again, okay. Let this go through, and once it's done loading, it's gonna have another wor uh, world folder, which is where all the WMOs are at, so world, WMO, etc., all right. So world, right click, extract, extract to that zero one folder. I'm gonna call this a six two high WMO. All right, hit OK. Actually, I'm gonna call this WMO one because it's gonna because you have to do two WMO extractions. All right, so yeah, can't rename it now. I'll rename it afterwards. So I just hit OK and let that extract close this out, and then I'm just going to go back into that folder, uh, minimize this. That's cool. Go back and go to this one. All right, and then uh, actually, I want to rename this to one. All right, and then uh, 
just do the data dumper on here as well. So make sure 010 is not running, all right? And then just do uh, just, just do that X data dumper, all right? And uh, let that finish. All right, this one won't take as long because it's only got a couple things to do. But while it's doing this, when it does the WMO one, it also makes the WMO list file, all right? So yeah. And then it also grabs whatever BLP it uses and whatever M2 files it uses as well. All right, so now this, don't do, do anything with this yet, but I'm just gonna show you. So if I open this up, right, uh, now it'll have the list file for the uh, 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 WMOs, all right? The previous method that, that I had before, which took a long time to do and it wasn't as uh, viable and it was very vol uh, very volatile it was um just just making 300 generic uh, listings and then just replacing the names and such so doing find replace for a generic name and then replace with what I needed and such and I was doing that for a long time that just take up a lot of time and then I started trying to figure out how how does well know how many how many group files go to each group file so there is uh, there is a set in the root files that uh, that basically you take the chunk size you divide it by a certain number and you get the amount of uh, of chunks there are and uh, of, of groups that it uses and then uh, basically I'm doing a math with that so when it scans the root files to dump out the m2 file the BLP files it's also scanning that chunk doing a, a math e e equation on it to get the count and then also also dumping out to a a text file of how many there are for for the groups and that's basically how it makes this particular file all right you can scan and look at the, the uh, scripts if, if you want to but uh, that's basically the the idea that's behind this so it makes that easier and uh, and automates the process rather than having to do it by hand and I believe somebody actually made a program where you would manually type in like 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 uh, this this thing here, this thing here, and this thing here, and it would make the groups for you. But it's a generic one, so it would produce like what, like three hundred or something like that. And <clears throat> all all fine and dandy, but I think this way is much better. <laughs> Just me saying, you know. But uh, yeah. So that's that. But um, so we'll take care of that later. The WMO extracts. We'll do that later. That that's not important now. You can do it now if you want. So it's it's up to you. I like to do it last. All right. So after doing the the WMO thing, we we need to um we need to uh, do the M2 file. So uh so there are two M2 text files. So um basically this is the one. The first M2 file is basically the dumps from ADTs and WMOs. All right. The M2 two <coughs> is basically when um. Some part, some particle emitters and some M2 files, like the cloud mount, for example, um, their particle emitters actually use another M2 file for their particle. All right, so so uh, when it's going through and scanning through the M2 files, if, if it finds something like that, this file will populate with uh, with data for for that, which is basically more M2 data that you're going to have to format and pull and such, and then you're going to have to, to rescan and whatnot. So, so your extractions can get a little, a uh, little large depending on what kind of data um, is a, a accumulated as you go through this process. But that's that's basically what you gotta do if you want, um, basically very specific data and for all for your uh, maps, all right? So, like before, right click the M2 file and drop it into O1L, all right? Same thing as before. Do a control R and search for zero zero, and and do the zero A replace. All right. Now I uh, do a control R again and do a zero A zero A replace with the single zero A and replace. All right. If I hit control R now without clearing that, that goes away and I have to retype it in. All right. So that's why I clear it. So I can just click control R and replace all, and it's faster this way. All right. So that's that. Save this out. Oops, I saved it and hit Control W at the same time, me and my fat ass fingers. But uh, yeah, so if I pop it open and change it to actually text file, it, it doesn't show up like uh, like 
funky. All right, but uh, yeah, so if you didn't know, control W say uh, will close out a file that has been saved. Anyway, so close that out. Drag in, not drag, but uh, open this up in uh, Notepad. Uh, what you want to do right now is uh, select extensions. All right, do a, do a control F after you select it. Go to replace and replace with nothing. All right, so delete the replace, make sure it's blank. All right, and then make sure your search is on normal and uh, wrap around and so on and so forth. All right, and then uh, hit replace all to clear those out. And then you're also going to do a MDX. All right, replace all as well, and, like, and it, it took out 333 or whatever, 338. And also do a MDL just in case. Sometimes in, in, an MDL is listed within an, an ADT. Do a replace all, it has uh, it had zero. But there, like I said, there are times when that will be there. So do it just in case. All right. So uh, so just um, just Control A, copy all of it. All right. Control A and then Control C. Go back into Excel. You know, same thing as before. Make a new sheet. Paste it in. Remove duplicates. Make sure no header is checked. Uh, not I mean un uh, unchecked. All right. And then it has twelve hundred sixty-two unique values. Blah. All right. And then just uh. Just basically click this con uh, control uh, control A again to select it all. I like to sort it, all right. And then I just sort it by column A, hit OK, and then uh, it'll sort it. And sometimes what uh, what you want to do is just uh, select the first one, hit control A, and it'll go all the way to the bottom. Make sure there's nothing else below that. So, right, so scroll down a little bit and make sure there's nothing below it. But uh, yeah, so copy this, all right, and then go into the list file. All right, then uh, Control A and then Control V. All right, so paste that in. Hold Control and push Home key to go back up to the top. You can push the End key now to go to the to move the cursor at the end, or just click it here. Click on this uh, multiple macro again. I'm I'm just gonna hit one to show you what this does, but then just hit the M2 uh, skin ending. All right, if I hit Run, it'll basically duplicate it. Uh, by four more times and add M2 and skin and add the zero zeros to it. All right, and then uh, so that's why I took out the extensions in the in the first place is so that this macro would work properly. All right, and then uh, just hit uh, run until the end of the file. Hit run, let that go through, let it finish, and once it's done, save. We open up the CAS Explorer and we're good. And then extract those M2s and then redump them and so on and so forth. All right. And, I'm, and I'll, show, I'll show you a little thing too that should help you out, depending if you want to use it or not. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. All right. Um, so that's done. Right. So I got to go and get into the Cast Explorer. And then once this is done, this is going to have a bunch of folders, which is going to be really annoying because these things are there. But. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be the creature, spells, and world. Is there a way to make those not show? Because that's annoying as hell. That's annoying to me. It might, it might, might not be annoying to you, but it's really annoying to me. Uh, let's see. That's like that's why I keep debating if I should move to the previous version because the previous version didn't do that. But it doesn't seem like it, so I have to deal with it. All right, so it's going to be creatures, spells, and world. All right, shouldn't be anything else. Extract and uh, so like, 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 put that shit there. I'm afraid I might skip something, thinking it's part of that, and that's what I'm afraid of doing. So yeah. Okay, but whatever. It is what it is. So back into here, and this is the M2 file. So I want to do a uh, 6.2, let's see, 6.2, high, M2, uh, yeah, and then just hit OK, and then OK. All right, let that go through, and let it finish. Okay, close this out. Go back to my folder that had that stuff. All right, and go into the M2. Now, in the drive C, that script folder, all right, 
uh, the data dumper you can modify this a little bit if you want to speed this up because by default the way how it is right now it's going to also look at the skin files it's not going to do anything with the skin files but it's just going to have to scan them all right and and that's going to take up like about uh, probably about one one third of a second all right but then there's there's a bunch of skin files in here like here I'll, I'll count for you uh, there's um there's a dir dot skin slash ad slash skin all right so if I uh if if there is there is uh twelve hundred eighty five uh, skin files let's do a little bit of math all right twelve eighty five divided by three 428 seconds extra this will take not far off. Uh, okay I did the math wrong okay so it's 1285 divided by it would divided by five so it's gonna be about 257 seconds so basically it's going to take about two two to three minutes extra actually probably longer than half because that's what divided by 60 okay about four minutes extra just to uh by leaving this the, by uh, also having to scan the skin files which it does nothing with except for closing them after trying to trying to see what the hell they are All right so if you don't uh, make like an extra process it's going to take a little longer all right so while I'm here I'm gonna just blank these out and uh, such okay so um because I really don't need them there no more but uh, so you can make a copy of this, right? And I like to call it, I think I called mine DDM2, all right, for data dumper M, uh, M, M, M2, but for this tutorial, I had to make it different. So I have to do an XDDM2 is what I'm gonna call mine. I'm gonna right click and go to edit. All right, from here, I'm going to take off the top line, this top set right here. Uh, let's see, take off from here to about here all right yeah about there and then uh actually take off this whole thing here all right and then uh take this off as well and then i'm going to change this asterisk to an m2 so it only looks for m2 files all right as it applies the script and uh such the reason why the other one is all asterisks is basically it's on purpose to run on every single file because when you run it on on ADT files you want it on everything right because that's all you have so far is just, AD, just ADT files so naturally that's fine and when you when you do uh, uh, the WMOs the first time around or the only time really um, it renames all the WMOs this thing here it renames all the WMOs to have no extension for the O and O script to work properly to make the list file all right so you want it as finding any uh, to run on any type on on any file it can find so that's why it's not extension specific right because the file no longer has an extension all right so so that's why that's like that so uh so this is mainly for for at and wmos all right now like i said you don't have to do this next part if you find it confusing but it helps out a lot if you want to save just looking at that an extra four minutes it would take if you if you, if you left it in X, uh, three to four minutes right so that's why this uh, xdd m2 that's why we named it as right and i just edit it took off the top to uh, look for demo most to rename don't really need that since it won't find any it won't take very long just a second but uh yeah all right and then so the way how it's gonna run now it's just going as soon as you open it it's just gonna start uh just start dumping and then and then once it, once it's done, like normal, all right. So it's pretty much that. So xddm2, all right. And I'll leave this here so we can look at, at those values populate, and just to look at how many files there are. So if I wanted to, just for the hell of it, just just to, actually don't even need to do that because I already have it. Right there's there's twelve hundred sixty one and two files. That's gonna take a while, all right. So from here, I'm just gonna do that uh, x xd uh, ddm2 for x data dumper m2 all right that was a, the, the thing i called it the shinter let this go through it's going to run through and as you can see the blp is starting to populate and that's good if this m221 here populates you're going to have to 
you're going to have to extract another set of M2 files before you do your before you go to the uh, BLP. All right, so it's just like before, like when we did the first M2 file. So if this thing uh, populates, you're gonna you're gonna have to do that. The only, the only time I've seen that populate is Mr. Pandaria stuff. I haven't really seen any models in Dronor use particles, use extra M2s for their particles. Well, so yeah. Um. So this is gonna take a while. Again, while any of this is going on, don't do anything on your computer. I would recommend you not to do anything on your computer. You can do stuff. You you cannot listen to me and do stuff, but shit will go wrong. Okay, so yeah, I'm telling you this for a very specific reason. But you don't have to take my advice. You can stop watching for all I care. But uh, if you plan to use my tools, right, and you plan to actually use my, my methods or try to emulate it, um, take my advice and don't do anything right now. You could just uh, go and do something else. Go find something to do and come back uh, uh, when it's done. All right. Um, I was thinking about adding a counter to this as, as it goes through on each file that it does add a counter to it so you can sort of keep track of it uh, but I think that might be pointless to do <laughs> but uh, what do you guys think uh, uh, since it's going by pretty fast already do you think maybe having a counter on there might be a little hard to even keep track of uh, or what do you think it, uh, or do you think uh, it'd be beneficial or, or not beneficial at, uh, at, uh, uh, at all because if you're doing this chances are you're doing something else outside of your room or where your, your computer is at and such but uh yeah so this is almost done the only reason why i'm still recording and not stopping is because i want to be able i want basically you guys the, the viewers to be able to see how long this takes all right so i'm not gonna like give you some bullshit time be like yeah it only took like 30 seconds no it didn't all right so <laughs> so that's why this is still going and i'm still talking and i am wondering okay 41 minutes all right so i'm gonna stop this right now and then this is already done so there's no bullshit there but i'm gonna stop and make another uh, uh, another section all right, so that's almost done counting. That's gone. All right, cool. Now, okay, so M22 did not populate. Thank God, because I didn't want to extract some more. But it's not a big deal. You just do, uh, do the same thing. You just pop it in. Just op open it up. If there's any duplicates, chances are there's not going to be a whole lot. All right, so you could probably just do it by hand. But if you want, you can still do it through O and O and um, check out the, the values, pop it into Excel, uh, remove duplicates. But chances are, if there's anything in there, it's not a lot. You can just do it by hand. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's get to it. So now we just have to do the last one, which is uh, the BLP file. And after I set this up, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to also add the WMO list file to the BLP grab, so I can just pull them both. Up. Actually, since I, I I want to put them into separate folders, that's not a good idea. All right, so uh, yeah, I'll do them separately still. So right click this and open up an O1O editor. All right, right, do a control R, do a search for 00, zero replace by 0A, do a search for uh, BLP, usually has a lot. So I like to do a 0A, 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 0A. I like to do four sets first and then go down the list as I get smaller and smaller. All right, so there's that and then I want to, and, and, and then now I'll do the two sometimes I'll do three as well depending on the map size that I do on uh, the pull size like if it was a pull size for like something large like Drenor I, w I would probably start like at like six and then work my way to five and then four and three and then two right um, the reason why I do that is because if you if, if you do just two to one and you have like 60,000 like matches oh no will crash all right, so yeah, that's why you have to kind of start big sometimes and work your way down. 
All right. So uh, just save this out, close this up, open this in Notepad++, like before, take out the extensions. All right. So replace blank and just BLP. That's it. There's, there's uh, nothing else. So Control C, copy that whole thing. All right. Make a new tab. <laughs> control A, copy. Control C, uh, uh, Control C, go into here. Control V, paste. All right. Mo remove duplicates. All right. One thousand files. All right. So uh, select all these again. I like to sort just for the hell of it. All right, can get control A again, copy. I like to just go to the top and make sure that there's nothing else below that, just in case. All right, so control C, copy. Go back and go into my list file. Control A to select all. Control V is a paste. Con control uh, home to go to the top. Click on this at the end. Click the uh, thing here. And uh, now I just do the BLP one just to show you what it does. It duplicates by two extra times and adds these things. The, the underscore H and underscore S is mainly for tile sets, but since why not just do it to the whole fucking thing, you know? Uh, saves you time instead of just be like, okay, BLP here, BLP here, and then once you get to tile set, switch macros, that's bullshit. Just do it to all. It doesn't matter. It, if it doesn't exist, it doesn't exist. You just, you, you it, it's not a big deal. All right. Hit run until the, en the end of the file and uh, let that go through and let it finish. And once it's done, save. All right. And then uh, go back into the Cast Explorer. Let this go through. Let it go through. Let it finish. And then uh, just select things. So creature, uh, dungeons, interface, item, particle, spell, uh, tile set, world. And I think everything else is just the other shit, right? Yeah. All right. If this gets a little hard to, to see, whatever, you can also like just control A, it's like this whole thing, and then just go to, uh, you should be able to con convert case to uh, uppercase, so everything's all, all uh, uppercase now, right? Save this, and uh, let me just open up another one. So, since I had how to select it already, I don't want to deselect, but um, if I open up another one, you'll see that all the folders now are all capital, so you can just look for all the capital ones. And just take those right and then, then there's that so you could do it that way too all right so in, in case this is this confuses you I guess you could do it that way too I, I just thought of that right now but uh yeah so there's that I'm going to put this into here these are my BLPs so six two high BLPs okay okay let they go through now I want to go and get my WMO list. So open this up, here's this, and uh, just control A and then control C to copy, paste this into here, make sure there are no blank spaces. There shouldn't be any blank lines between them, but just in case, all right? And then uh, just save this as is, all right? And then uh, just open that back up. I'll let that go through all right and then uh so it's um oh whoops 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 <laughs> oh i forgot you have yeah because you know it has my my folder listing take everything out from where it's where it says basically from world and back so find that so control f after you have it selected just like an oh no if it's selected you push control f it'll go into there replace it with nothing all right, and then save. All right, so yeah, I forgot to forget about that. Kind of, kind of got carried away, but yeah. So do that, and then uh, once it loads back up, it'll be good. Select the world folder if you have to make a caps, whatever you know. And then uh, if I go in there, it's just the uh, WML. So select this, right click, extract into here, extract into here. Well, six two, hi. WMO2. All right, hit OK and OK. That's good. That's done, and we are good. All right, so that's pretty much the end of that. Now it's time for converting shit. So before I get to that, before you even get to that, be a good idea to back this stuff up. All right, so it's not that large. 
all right cool so i could just make a raw archive of this whole thing and just click on store just to store it really quickly instead of trying to compress it because i'm just trying to store and back it up right so there's that and in case anything does fuck up or anything like that this is good for like debugging purposes and shit like that but uh and whatnot so just back your stuff up in case you know whatever and um and, and then run the stuff on it so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to convert the uh, wmos make sure that 010 again is not loaded or opened or whatever all right so go into the folder with that and uh in the script if, if you don't remember what it was basically just uh, wmo convert for you for me it's x wmo convert just type that in and it'll run through a bunch of shit and convert them so i'm gonna do an x wmo convert all right and then i just hit enter and then that they go through and it's gonna go through and convert all the wmos and shit like that and so yeah all right um if you wanted to have it where it populates and shows all the files like like the dumper uh, you, you can go and modify the echo off and uh, just either delete that line or just make it say echo on and uh, and then uh, it'll show all the files that it's processing and stuff in case you want to see that and it may look faster to you or you just want some semblance of, uh, of tracking and uh, such all right so there's that W almost done now the M2 the M2 takes a, a, a long time so Go find something to do. So again, while it's going on, don't do anything. All right. So uh, in the thing, in the download set will be the tag team. All right. Open up the tag team, drag and drop the Z tool and this batch file into where the N2 files are at. All right. And then just uh, double click the batch file once and then uh, close this out. And then, it, and then it'll know that one out and make another batch file with this location's uh, uh, a, a directory address inside of here. All right, and uh, yeah, then just run this. And uh, again, make sure 010 is not open, yada, 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 and it'll go through and convert them to uh, RAF, to, uh, RAF uh, specifications. All right, so find something to do because this one's gonna take a while too. And this one I probably will actually fast forward through. <laughs> All right. So if you're in here and it looks like it's not doing anything, if you click somewhere else, you'll see it's doing something. Your windows will start to flash and flicker because shit's going on. All right. <laughs> and again, like before, if you want to see stuff, you can turn this echo off and just either del delete the whole thing or whatever. All right. So you can do stuff right now. Just do not, do not, and I repeat, do not copy or cut anything, all right? Because you're going to sh fuck shit up. But you can look at stuff. Just, yeah, I just, just that uh, most people, you know, have a tendency of copying stuff whenever they're browsing the internet or stuff. So that's why I would recommend not doing that while this is going on, all right? Let's see, what else can I talk about? I don't bore the hell out of people. <laughs> um, let's see, there's really nothing else. Uh, after this is done, um, then I have to convert the, the, uh, the, the ADT files. And that one I definitely will uh, fast forward. Unless, actually wait, there's, there's only what? How many ADT files? What was it was like a hundred thirty or something like that? You know, divide that by five. It's like you you have how many files left? It's like man, I just pulled the brain for it. That's not so that's like what twenty six or some shit. So so yeah, it's it's so yeah that 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 won't take very long. That take like a minute. <laughs> So, where, where is the fucking, the Hellfire Raid, man? That, that thing, that thing had so many damn files. That thing had like over a thousand files total in original files. And then divide that by five, you had like 200. And uh, the, the after amount was like 276. So, so multiply that by five, you have a thousand. 
and then whatever six times five is 30 the 70 times five is 350 or some shit so 350 plus 60 is uh 410 plus uh the other value <laughs> so and this also so that's like 1400 files and shit so yeah all right and um yep we're good okay so m2's done cool all right so for the adts you have to use that other thing so that uh that ptng downport is the thing i said to extract to form all right, so into here, and then uh, put it into the into the to be voted folder. So I'll go back and uh, get the maps. Get these, get these, get these, and drag and drop these ADT files. All right, if for some reason Windows always listed as music, even if you try to force change it, it always does it. So you can go back a folder, you can go to customize here, so the documents, click on apply to subfolders, and go back in, and it'll be as normal files. And so get all the ADT files down here, all right, and uh, you know shift click to go to the end for people that don't know and just drag and drop it into here. Don't need it, just copy it because I already have it backed up in that raw archive, all right. So yeah. So anyway, so basically put put it into the, the to be voted folder. After that, run this one, all right. In case you need to debug um, and uh, you think that maybe either an M2 object. Uh, if you if you like you, you you crash and you want to check if it's maybe possibly the object layer that is causing the crash such as it could be a, a m2 file or a wmo file that maybe may not be converted properly in case you want to do that and you want to check if it's that you, you can run this one here where it says adt convert terrain only meaning it will skip the objects or, or rather it will use this object which is a blank one that i had made It'll use the data from that and produce basically no object data, all right. And then uh, and and such. So, so it'll run that. Originally, I uh, I had it at a point where where it would run both of these and uh, basically have no texture data, no object data. But I took that one out because uh, there 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 wasn't a, a, a use for it anymore after a while, and. Um, but it is useful when the de when debugging stuff, so you can still edit the scripts if you if you need to, and uh, and and uh, figure out how to uh, how to uh, re re put that back in and such. So uh, like if 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 you're putting to like uh if if you're doing like to burning crusade, it's it's a nice feature to have in case you want to test things out and whatnot. <coughs> but uh yeah, so that's pretty much that. Uh, let's get to it and just run this one here. This is gonna do stuff. So if I go into the to be voted folder, it's gonna basically run through those files and it's going to generate uh, the wrap eighty two files and such from it. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's gone through fairly quickly and it's probably gonna be done within the minute. All right, and then we can go into the game and check it and so on and so forth. Again, when the, when any of this stuff is going on, do not do anything. Do not copy and paste. You can do whatever else, just don't copy and paste. All right, you copy and paste, you know. Ugh, I'm tired of saying it, but you're gonna screw shit up. All right, so take my advice. Once it's done, it's gonna remove all the files and put them into the finish folder. And then from here, we have these. So I can close this out. From here, what I want to do with the with this WD, uh, WDT file is I want to open this up in a 10 editor. All right, this flag here at the at the hex one four location, the second line, and this the second line and fifth byte over. All right, I'm going to make it a four e. All right, and that's a flag setting. If you leave it as da, you're going to have some weird shit, possible and a possible crash in, in a while. All right, so I'll make it a four e, and uh, yeah. So uh, thanks to Will for that because if he didn't say anything about it, I it probably would have taken me a lot longer to figure that out. So yeah, thanks thanks to him to. Uh, for mentioning that cool all right so got gotta give my thanks where where they belong you know yeah okay yeah whatever <laughs> so there's that so uh so i want to go into my data folder now and i use uh folder patches if you guys have trouble loading or just loading files from folder patches 
um, I will put up my my WoW uh, exe file for people to download if if they want, um, and such. In, in case you can't do folder patches uh, or or stuff like uh, like that, and you want to, then download my exe in case yours doesn't do it. And uh, yeah, should be good. All right, so folder patch I'm gonna call this a patch uh, h dot mpq. All right, just like that. Open this up. And I'm going to uh, drag and drop the shit in. But first, I want to go back to this folder. All right, this is where my uh, where my map stuff was at. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into here. And I'm going to go to this folder and uh, get all these ADTs that are in the finished folder. Drag and drop them into here. All right. And then I go back to the. Actually, I'm going to make a couple of different folders because I want to separate all these out. All right. So I'm going to make a new one called a patch. Uh, B dot MPQ for my BLPs. All right, so I'm gonna go to get my uh, BLPs and drag them all into here. All right, that's good. Then uh, do another one, call it a patch. Uh, let's see, patch M for my M2 files. So dot MPQ. All right, and then uh, and such. So M2, click, click, click. I'm gonna drop this into here, let that go through, done, simple. And then y'all know what's coming up next, patch w baby, just patch w.mpq, my w modes naturally, get my w mode 2, the ones that were converted, put them into here, and that should be all of them, right? I have my uh, yeah, my 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 map, my BLP, my M2, my W modes. That's all I need, right? I'm I'm, I'm good. And also my DBC files which I will have to make right now, but I will part, I will put them inside of here. So DB files, uh, client, all right, open this up. And then uh, I want to uh, minimize this, go to my parse, all right. So uh, these things are all, are, oh yeah, I also need inside of my, uh, my BLP, I need the, uh, the, the load stream info. All right, so there's that. Go back into my DB files client folder, and then um, let's see. So these are already set up. So I just gotta hit this and turn that, turn those into uh, into DBC files, and then re rename these properly. And this is why I said turn on extensions earlier when I was in that uh, in that little option thing. Because if you don't have extensions on, you won't be able to rename these properly. So even if you if you rename it to .dbc, it's going to be a CSV file. All right. So that's why I say put that on. Okay. So uh, that's good. Drag and drop these into here. All right. And then also drag and drop my map .dbc file into my emulator core folder, my .dbc folder drag and drop this into here back up yours just in case but I'm not gonna back mine's up because I know what the hell I'm doing I'm kidding I don't but uh yeah there's that so I probably just deleted shit but it's fine because I deleted all my fucking patches already so it doesn't matter so uh yeah so that's good that's done um let's just make sure that we can actually turn on the server before we do anything else make sure I can actually load up the world server all right that looks good we'll load up the maps that's 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 the main question. I'm gonna have to close this back out because I have to put uh, the the map ID in the uh, in the database. But so it loaded up. That's cool. So I want to go to my database real quick and go to the world folder. Go to tables. Go to ooh, crap, go to instance templates right here. And then uh, go to the very bottom. Put in that new ID which we set, which was. Uh, 1228, so 1228 here, parent none, uh, mountable, yeah, why not? All right, and then SQL saved as soon as I move out of the cell, so that's good. And then I uh, just restart the world server. All right, and then we're good. So this is within my folder. All right, sweet, sweet, that's good. All right, so before we get to that, we, we need to get a coordinates all right and that's what the other Excel file is for okay so if I opened up this one this ADT position calculator all right 
and then I go into my uh, where my ADTs are at and just look for something that has like a, 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 a fair enough file size and then uh, and such and then find the number so this one's 1627 right I want to put in a 16 right and then a 27 okay and then I'm just gonna copy this dot go XYZ blah right and then the map ID was that 12 yada 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 so if I go into the game and then I have to move, move my characters around because I don't have the maps there anymore um, so I have to move these guys around or this guy's a mongo cool all right then i uh, do a dot gm on do a get my fly macro just in case i need it or do a just basically put in the go xyz blah my map id is 1228 enter and there we go and yada so i had the loading screen and everything set up and there we go all right so missing texture there yada you really gotta look that up <clears throat> so yeah it works my texture script isn't complete but you get most of it right <laughs> uh, it is what it is um yeah it's it's a it's a work in progress so just putting it out there all, like most of my maps don't don't have all the all the all, all the textures the first time around. I have to debug it and go through and figure out what's in my script and what's missing and try to figure out how to figure out what object this is, why my script fails on it, and such. And all that takes time. And yeah, so and like everybody else, I'm busy. I got stuff going on in my life. I there and and such. So I can't just do this constantly okay so uh yeah so make do with what like with with uh what it is right now and if anybody can update cool if not it's fine i'll get to it eventually but uh yeah so hopefully this helped you guys out and have fun uh let's see hmm there's a lot of stuff that's missing, isn't there? <laughs> Let's see. Do -do. But the M2s are there. Just just not getting the uh, not getting all the uh, the BLP files and uh, whatnot. But that's that's how it is, you know, just um, it's not like anybody's paying for this stuff. And then I I can't just, you know, quit my job. Yeah, do this you know it doesn't work that way so yeah it is what it is uh thanks for checking this out make 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 use of it and um if anybody can improve it cool if not like i said i'll get to it eventually as time goes by but uh yeah all righty bye, bye later i'm pretty sure my old script will get all the textures it's just that it's a weird way it's a weird mechanic and uh, yeah, trying to advise people of how to use it can probably lead to a lot of problems. But basically, this is how my old one worked. And uh, it does a lot of things, too many things. So, and also has a large chance of getting a lot of garbage in the process. Um, but yeah, so. Let's see, so where is my stuff? So like the M2 files, right? So inside of here, I, I would do the, uh, this. I have another macro that makes a text file that does that. And then I would go in and out so I get the directory of where this text file is at. Open up what we know. Go to scripts, and I would go to dump, whatever. And I would run this, all right? And then it would dump to this file on my F drive this uh, pull BLP all right so if I run it on this it's gonna go through I'm just gonna do it fairly quickly a lot faster than the other one because it doesn't have to close out 010 and reopen it every time it has to do uh, on, a, on on another file so it actually runs a lot faster but um, but the way how it works is very uh, volatile it has a chance it uh, 
what's the word? It just likes to grab garbage every so often because it's not as uh, strict and uh, stuff. So yeah, Ish uh, those are the issues with it. That's the main reason why I'm not giving this one out. It's because um, when there is garbage on that's being pulled, how do you deal with it? And if there's a lot, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work to sift through all of it. So we move it all and just end up with uh, stuff. <clears throat> like here's garbage. That's garbage, all right? That's a bunch of garbage in. There's nothing useful in here, all right? I doubt. All right, so if I do like a dot M2, because this is only supposed to pull M2, right? But there's there's no twos in here. This is just garbage, all right? So it it does this. That's why I I'm not giving this one out because if you, if you run it on a WMO, oh my God, there's so much garbage that it pulls, and then uh, yeah, so that's why I'm not sharing this because of how much bullshit that. A person would have to go through for the most part all right so I'll do the same thing as before zero zero here replace all and then do a zero a zero a since I since I only went through them two files there's not a lot to do save close this out close this out and then <clears throat> open this up in the text editor take out the BLP uh, replace all copy this Put it into here, remove duplicate. So like with the first one, make sure there's no more below it. Sort, make it prettier looking. Go back into here, go back to my list file, paste these back in, go back to the top, go to the end. Select the BLP, run to the very end of this. Okay, cool, save this. And then, um, then rerun the Cast Explorer. See, go into my this folder here. I'm going to go into click, 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 and click here. Right click, extract uh, into here. Call it uh, 62 high BLPs2. Right, hit OK and hit OK here. And let's see if there's a difference in between the two. So the old, the first one I did has 1,229 files. This one has uh, less files, all right? But it might grab other things that the other one did not get, you know? So that's why I'm checking this one. So, um, so I'll make another patch that's below it, patch C.mpq. Uh, drag and drop these all into here. They go through. Let's take log out because that's a new patch, so it's not gonna allocate it. So uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. The log doesn't take too long to load up. Just lets it take its time sometimes, but that's fine. Uh, where is my, my bowler? All right. So there we go. Those textures all have stuff on it now, even though it grabbed less. It uh, it it, it, <coughs> it grabbed whatever was missing, but you saw how volatile it was. So I mean, if anybody wants it, um, I guess I could give it out. Just be warned that it's going to not always work properly, and if it throws garbage, you're gonna have to sift through a lot of shit. So yeah, all right. So be warned with that if, if, if you guys ask for it. Um, that's pretty much it. There's, no, there's really nothing else to cover in this video. So thanks for checking us out. Enjoy using the tool. And uh, yeah. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Later. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> All right. Something I forgot to show while recording is how to get it to work in Nugget. In case for people that don't know how, I'm not gonna go through and explain how to install Nugget. All right, just if just download Nugget, right? Just download Nugget and uh, extract it somewhere, and then in the configuration file, put 
the, the first path, the list is in 1.4. The first path is going to be where your while directory is at. So, you know, my while directory is here, you know, f uh, a create uh, while three, while 335 rev 12340, which is that. And the project path is going to be that goes into a patch in because I use folder patches, which allows, which so it makes it really easy for me to do my edits and stuff. And then whatever so patch in like that you know and then um and such and then and then everything else what it is whatever all right so that's basically setting that up so so much for not talking about how to install it that's basically how you install it is setting it, it up properly okay so um so since since my actual, actual my nugget folder is a patch in, I would want my actual MPQ files that held my actual maps to be above or before patch in, you know. And uh, for them to load up in nugget, it has to be in uh, a uh, a actual MPQ file, not a MPQ folder, right? But before I get to that, um, I have to get my uh, the map DBC file. Actually, I just kept it copy the whole uh, folder, put it into my, my patch in, and so that it'll actually be able to uh, read off of that, um, that, that, uh, that uh, DBC file, all right? Now, what I need to do is also need to make a new MPQ file, so I will make into this directory, new MPQ, into that directory, and uh, such, I call it a patch uh, 7.mpq, all right, hit next. Um, just World of Warcraft, next. I'll do, I don't know, 10, 10 24. Whatever, just hit next, finish. And then, um, and then actually, there's, there's, there's a lot more than that, huh? So, a lot higher than that. All right, this number. And then just go through and extract all the junk to the patch and such and once you finish all of that we uh put this back in the reason why it's in the patch z is was for the intro video um and such okay and then patch h was the map so we can drop this back into here Okay, and then uh, patch jam was my M2 files. I'm going to go into patch W for my W mall. All right, and that's it. Open up Nugget. Then, since I cloned Azeroth, it'll be in Continent and it should be in here, High Mall. All right, and then uh, around here. So, click somewhere here. Wait for it. Press the M key in case you want to have some kind of showing when it's loaded. So in case you're in an area where the, where nothing shows up, you push the M key and as soon as the map shows up, then you'll know that hey, it's it's it's, it's loaded. From there, you know, just go as normal and uh, whatnot. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. And. Uh, yeah, so in Nugget, and that's how you get it to work in Nugget. And you can go and deform this if you want and add your edits into the map if you wished. Like, oh, I'll, I'll just put a big ass mountain here so you, so you can actually see some, uh, some kind of edit when I go back in. No, unsplit that. <laughs> and let's, let's, let's unsplit this one as well. And then let's raise this up. Take care of that. All right, so if I save this. Which won't take very long. Save that. Eventually, it's done. All right, cool. Save again, just in case. Okay, so if I go into WoW now, right? Because because my stuff was in patch whatever, but then it saves into patch in for the map. Uh, 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 ADT files. So now, when I go back into the game, you will see that I have mountains on the various pieces of land around there and such so fly out of here see there you go beautiful terrible <laughs> but
But yeah, so it works and such. All right, that's pretty much that. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy using this. And again, if anybody wants the volatile script, let me know. I'll probably put it out. All right, later, bye.